Our bodies are incredible. They are strong, they are resilient, and they are ours. Yet society tells us to be critical, to judge, and to conform. We are bombarded with images of perfection, leaving us feeling inadequate. This pressure to fit into a narrow mold is especially harsh on women. Our bodies become battlegrounds, subject to scrutiny and impossible standards. But here's a revolutionary thought. What if we reject these unrealistic ideals? What if we celebrate the diversity and uniqueness of our bodies instead? This is the heart of body positivity, embracing our bodies in all their glory, flaws and all. It's about recognizing that our worth is not determined by our appearance. This journey begins with self-love and acceptance. It means challenging the norms that tell us we need to be fixed, tucked or altered. Our bodies are not problems to be solved. They are vessels of strength, resilience and beauty, deserving of love and respect. Let's talk about a part of our bodies often shrouded in secrecy and shame, the vulva. This incredible part of female anatomy is subject to a barrage of misinformation and unrealistic beauty standards. But the truth is, vulvas come in all shapes, sizes and colours, and each one is perfect in its own way. The labia minora, the inner lips of the vulva, are a prime example of this beautiful diversity. They can be short or long, symmetrical or asymmetrical, and their colour can range from pink to brown. This variation is natural and healthy, just like variations in eye colour or nose shape. Despite the natural variations in labia minora, many women are led to believe that their bodies are somehow wrong or abnormal. The media often portrays a very specific and unrealistic image of the vulva, leading to feelings of shame and inadequacy. This lack of representation and open conversation contributes to harmful beauty standards. These unrealistic standards fuel a multi-billion dollar industry that profits from our insecurities. We are bombarded with messages telling us to fix ourselves to achieve a perfect vulva. This can lead to unnecessary and potentially harmful procedures all driven by the pursuit of an unattainable ideal. But it's time to break free from these harmful narratives. The media plays a significant role in perpetuating unrealistic beauty standards, often showcasing a very limited and homogeneous representation of bodies. This narrow portrayal creates a distorted view of what is considered normal or desirable. These images are often heavily edited and airbrushed, creating an unattainable standard of beauty. The constant exposure to these unrealistic images can lead to body image issues, low self-esteem and even mental health problems. It's crucial to remember that what we see in the media is not always an accurate reflection of reality. Section 5 beyond the surface. Homology and the myth of normal. The myth of a normal vulva is further debunked when we look at the concept of homology in biology. Homologous structures are body parts in different species that share a common ancestor, even if they have different functions. Did you know that the labia minora are homologous to the foreskin in males? This means they share a similar developmental origin, much like our arms and a bat's wings. This understanding challenges the notion that there's only one right way for a vulva to look. It highlights the incredible diversity within human anatomy and dismantles the idea of a singular perfect vulva. Section 6. Reclaiming our bodies. 
reclaiming our power. It's time to reclaim our bodies and our power. We can start by rejecting the unrealistic beauty standards that tell us we need to be anything other than our authentic selves. This means embracing our bodies, including our vulvas, in all their natural beauty. Let's shift the narrative. Let's celebrate the diversity of our bodies and challenge the norms that seek to shame and control us. The first step is self-acceptance. Embrace your body, including your vulva, for the incredible and unique creation it is. Section 7. The impact of shame, mental and emotional well-being. The shame and stigma surrounding female anatomy can have a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. It can lead to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and even depression. It can also affect our relationships and our sex lives. When we internalize these negative messages, it can be challenging to feel comfortable in our own skin. This can lead to avoiding intimacy, feeling self-conscious during sex, and even delaying important health checkups. It's time to break free from this cycle of shame. Section 8. Embracing our authentic selves. A journey to self-love. Embracing our authentic selves is a journey, not a destination. It's about unlearning years of societal conditioning and challenging the norms that tell us we need to be anything other than ourselves. This journey starts with self-love and acceptance. It's about celebrating our bodies for the incredible vessels they are. It's about recognizing that our worth comes from within, not from external validation. This journey might involve unfollowing social media accounts that promote unrealistic beauty standards, seeking out diverse representation, and surrounding ourselves with supportive and empowering communities. Section nine, join the movement, body positivity and challenging the norms. The body positivity movement is about challenging the status quo and demanding better representation it's about creating a world where all bodies are celebrated, regardless of size, shape, color, or ability. This movement is about more than just feeling good about ourselves. It's about dismantling harmful beauty standards that have real-world consequences for individuals and society as a whole. Join the movement. Challenge the norms. Embrace your body and encourage others to do the same because every body is worthy of love and celebration.